Hi and welcome to another chemistry lesson. Uh, we are still looking at the structure of an atom. In the previous one we looked at the nucleus. In the nucleus we found the protons and the neutrons. And this time we are going to look at the area around the nucleus. So if we have our nucleus, these are nucleus. The area around the nucleus is called the electron cloud. And that is where at any moment of time I will encounter electrons at different energy levels. Okay, so what do I mean with electrons at different energy levels? Well, we saw in the previous video that um, an electron, a neutral uh, atom I mean, a neutral atom has the same number of protons as he has in electrons. Okay, and the number of protons is called the atomic number. Okay, the atomic number, and you can find it on any periodic table, which is now a collection of all the information regarding the elements. Okay, so I will look at the atomic number, and the atomic number will tell me in a neutral atom, an atom that has the same number of protons and electrons, it will tell me how many electrons I have floating in this electron cloud. Now, where will I encounter these electrons? Well, I will encounter them in different levels. So, for example, level, level 1, okay, that's an energy level, Okay, level 1 will have two electrons. Level 2 will have another eight electrons. Level 3, another eight electrons. And level 4 will have another ten electrons. And this goes on up to level 7. Okay. Now these higher levels really fall outside the scope of uh, this course, so we won't look at, that, at them really. Um, but basically what I'm trying to tell you is that if I have um, an atom with two protons, or a maximum of two protons, that means that, the, that I'll have two electrons in a neutral atom, and I will only find them in the first energy level. Okay, if I've got more than 2, but I have less than 10, okay, so if I were to add this up, this will go up to 2, this will go up to 10, this will go up to 18, this will go up to 28, okay, so if I have more than 2, um, I will have my first 2 in the first energy level, and the rest of them I will have in the second energy level. And if I've got more than 10, then the first 2 will be in the first energy level, the next 8 will be in the second energy level, and the remainder will be in the third energy level. Okay, now if I go and look at this energy level 1, and I go and find those electrons, I will find that they uh, travel or they appear in what is called orbitals. They orbit in pairs of two in a little space inside the energy level called orbitals. Now we are only going to look at two types of orbitals called s orbitals and p orbitals. Now you also get d and f or orbitals and probably more um, complex than that, but um, but we will only stick to the s and the p orbitals. Uh, they are fairly simple to to visualize, and so for example, an s orbital looks like this. Okay, an s orbital is simply a little sphere like that. That is called an s orbital. Orbital now. In level 1, we only have an s orbital, and in this s orbital, we have two electrons floating around in this orbital. Now, every single level, energy level, has orbit s orbitals. Each one of them have an s orbital, and each one has a larger s orbital, because the further away the that uh, uh, electron is away from the nucleus the more energy it has so what is, so the s orbital in level 7 is much bigger because the 
electrons in that orbital has much more energy. Okay, so in my first level I only have an s orbital, he only can contain two electrons and something um, also important is that these spin in opposite directions. Okay, they spin in opposite directions to, I suspect, to counter the, uh, the negative charges on them. Okay, in the next level, I don't just have an s orbital, uh, so I do have an s orbital here as well, but I also have three p orbitals. So I've got my s, let's just write the name on there. I've got an s orbital, my first two, the first two that upgraded to level two still go into the s orbital. I should have actually made it a little bit a little bit bigger than this, oh, okay, but that's not too important, I'll leave that out. It's definitely bigger than the, the s orbital on the first level, but it also has p orbitals. Now, it's got three p orbitals, and one of the p orbitals, if I only looked at one of them, it would look like this. Okay, so I'll have um, it look more looks more or less like this. Okay, so I'm trying hard to draw it. It's not that easy. Okay, but kind of like a dumbbell, and then your um, nucleus is here in the center. Okay, and and this is the orbital, and in this whole orbital, we will encounter our little electrons here at any point in time. Now I said we have three of those orbitals. Now the way that those orbitals actually look and or, or how they come together in level two is we've got one of them uh, pointing west, one of them pointing east, and I'm just using those as directions. They don't always point east and west, just to, to show you more or less how they go. One of them pointing north and south, Okay, so I've got another one here, pointing north and south. Okay, that's the second p orbital. And then I've got another one that is, if you could imagine, one like sticking into the page so that that orbital is there in the back. And then I've got another one here in front. Let me draw it here. Okay, here in front almost as if it's sticking sticking out of the page. I hope that's okay to visualize. Okay, so that is more or less what the three p orbitals look like in this second level. And in level three, and let me just then basically draw it for you like this. So we've got one sticking out of the page and one there at the back. Then we've got one pointing west one pointing east, one pointing south, one pointing north, so it makes this shape. So I'm just going to try, uh, to try and draw them here. Okay, so I've got one that looks like that, one that looks like that, and then one that comes out of the page and into the page like that. Those are my three p orbitals. Let me just name them here, p orbitals. Okay, and each one of these orbitals can take two electrons. That's how you can see now that we have a total of eight, two in here and six in there. Now, in level three, the same thing. We've got an s orbital. Okay, at least the the atoms that we are going to look at, we're going to only stick to these orbitals. So if I have too many electrons for level one and two, the additional electrons will first fill the s, the three s orbital. That's what we call it, orbital three s. This one is called orbital one s because it's the s orbital in level one. This is orbital two s. This is orbital three s. These are um, orbital uh, are called two p orbitals two p. Okay. And then we also have orbitals 3p, which obviously they are orbitals in the, the p orbitals in the third energy level. Okay, 
I think it's fairly simple. It's not too complicated to visualize. But the moment we get to D and F orbitals, I am going to definitely lose you. They are quite complicated, but don't worry about it. It's not part of this course. This will suffice, which means we can go up to atomic mass of 20, sorry, atomic numbers of 28, and we can fairly reasonably understand how the electrons um, appear in the electron cloud.